Moya Moya is a condition characterized by the bilateral progressive narrowing of the distal internal carotid arteries and the proximal anterior cerebral and middle cerebral arteries. In the absence of treatment, there's a progressive neurologic decline in children with Moya Moya. They have uh, progressive strokes until such a time that the internal carotid arteries are completely occluded. That can be fatal, but the strokes terminate and all of the blood so flow to the brain is provided by external to internal carotid collaterals that have formed spontaneously or surgically. Symptoms could be a stroke, a TIA, the development of dystonia, or a progressively severe headache that's classically located behind the eye. Children typically present with stroke-like symptoms where adults are more likely to present with subarachnoid or intraventricular hemorrhage. The diagnosis is typically made on an MRI. It could be made with a CT angiogram, but that's more unusual. An MRI will show infarctions uh, and will show narrowing of the distal internal carotid and proximal branches. That diagnosis is followed by an angiogram in which all the vessels are evaluated individually, the internal carotids, the external carotids, and the vertebrals. So a six-vessel angiogram is necessary for preoperative planning and uh, diagnosis. The treatment is surgical. Uh, patients are generally started on aspirin at the time of diagnosis, but that does nothing to treat the disease or stop the progression of symptoms. The treatment that we perform at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh is called a peel synangiosis. The surgical treatment involves suturing a branch of the external carotid artery called the superficial temporal artery down onto the pia, the innermost layer of the leptomeninges that covers the brain. Uh, this is done in a microvascular technique in the operating room. Surgery stops the progressive strokes or mini strokes, dystonia, typically within weeks, although it can take up to six to 12 months to see the effects on imaging. Patients that have frequent symptoms typically see resolution within several weeks. Patients are maintained on aspirin for life following this surgery. The most important thing that physicians need to know about Moya Moya syndrome is to be aware of it, to look for it, and to know that it's a surgically treated disease.